Exactly half. So if you show up earlier in the day, you have a better chance of getting here and having less distractions. Shirley's making slower. a face because she's an alpha. But we're slower. But, but they're slower. slower. But here's the thing too, guys. We're slower. And they get so offended when I say this, but they show up more often, they go slower, they do one less round than every other workout for the day, but they made 36 out of the 44 Transformation Tuesdays uh, last year. It makes up. Like consistency is what it's all about. Because you're going to come more often? Going back to school. Because of the teachers. Oh, yeah. And actually, these numbers are from June. So it yeah. is like kind of in the summer with those ones. It will change. Yeah. It will change. So there. And no, no. <laughs> no, we really didn't pick the teachers, though. I mean, we cut some people out. We took outliers out. April wasn't in the group. We took a few others that were like going to throw the numbers. But um, no, it really is. It's important, guys. So the earlier you get it done, the better. So on Fridays and Sundays, it might not be a part of your routine to show up to boot camp, to show up to your workouts. And again, no matter what time you get it done, it's the best time for you. But getting it done earlier in the day, if it's a part of your morning routine on those days, you're going to get it done. All right. So as far as the workouts, you're going to see that lays out 30 days. It's going to get progressively. Do you have one? Do you need one? Where are the extras? There are extras. I think I'll get my read all about it. There's none. There's none. There's one right there. That's mine. We need a I need a cheat sheet. <laughs> I need a cheat sheet. I know all the exercises, I could probably name them all. Yeah, 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 that, but not in the order. That would be difficult. That's called yeah, breaking yeah, yeah. We're bankrupted because of smoke, our memories. All right. So with this, when you're going through it, you're going to see it progressively gets more and more every single week. Okay, so your reps are going to jump up from like the 20 range, up to the 40 range, up to the 60 range. The next part that you're going to see is as far as at the top, it has beginners, advanced, and ninjas. So this is a way where we're gonna to help to break it up and kind of make sense as far as like the program and how we implement it into your day. So we're gonna spend time on this for just a second. We're gonna go over every single exercise and then you guys will ask questions and we'll get out of here, right? So the whole idea with this, like we said, it's going to be your warm up each day. 
So if you're on that beginner level, boom, that might be it, and you're done, you're fully fit in that, you're good. If you're doing it at the advanced level, you might do back-to-back -back times in your warm-up, but that also might be how you create kind of like that sandwich style workout of where you do at the very beginning, you do your workout, maybe do the finisher, and then you also do it at the tail end of your workout again. So that can be where the time you get your two sets in. You can also, again, when you go to the three sets, if you're doing it the ninja style, break it up either way. Once is your warm-up or twice is your warm-up, and once or twice as your finisher. So it's really up to you as far as that, if you're going to take it above and beyond, how you want to break it up. Some people, when we've done these in the past, have done it where they do it first thing in the morning, they do it with their warm-up, do it with their finisher. And a lot of people did that when we did that uh, November test group. Denise, I think you were in that, I know you did yours at the hospital or whatever it was. Denise in scrubs, knocking them out, protein bars in her pocket. So, you know, the whole idea, guys, is like you're going to fit it in where you can. If it makes more sense to you divide it up three times throughout the day, then that's how you're going to do it. All right? Anything else as far as clarification on like before we even get into the program? Cool. Very easy. All right, so your very first one. I'll, 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 so I'll be here. You just be oh. lying down. No, you're perfect. I didn't look okay. ahead. So with the first one, band lateral raises. Bands, obviously right here. If you guys need a link, I'll post on the support page today. A whole kit of bands in a bag. It's a different brand, I believe, but it's $28. It would be something to keep at the house. It would be a good idea. So band lateral raises, always with thumbs pointed down. Think about pouring a picture at the top. Thumbs never go back. That's how you tear a shoulder. So the thumbs are always down. Push off the hips. And one of the things that we just learned as far as a way to demonstrate it. Hey, one of the ways that we just learned to demonstrate it, which really makes a lot of sense, is keep your hands turned in and think about dragging your knuckles across the ground. If you do it that way, you're never going to let those elbows fly or those hands fly back that way. So think about dragging the knuckles across the ground, and that'll help you with that one. Our second exercise is. Rush and twist. Rush and twist. Cool. So we should know this one, guys. We do this in boot camp. So the whole idea of what we're trying to do is we're going to see every type of ab exercise splits the abs in the middle. We're trying to keep everything tight as possible. So breathing is a super important part of this. Keeping your belly button tucked into your spine. Keeping it held. How much more can I say that keeps people over here? I don't know. I'm waiting. Hey, go from side to side. If you want to make it more advanced, using a ball really helps. Today, at the end of my work, I think we're actually just slamming the ball back up. Slam the ball. When you have to pick it up on a dead stop like that, it makes it a little tougher. Putting your feet up and elevating for What's next? Butterfly hip bridges. Yeah, we're just going to use you guys. Thank you. Butterfly hip bridges. Key with this is just getting your heels in as tight as you can to like your seam, pushing off the inside of your feet, two feet together, trying to create a bridge. The big thing with hip bridges is remember you're squeezing the glutes, you're not trying to pinch off your low back. So one of the quickest ways to hurt your low back is to do this 40 times in a row with that form. So make sure you're squeezing through the glutes and the legs. Think about what you're trying to activate. We're trying to create an hourglass, so push through the heels, push through the glutes. What's next? Band scap All right, so band I'm up. You're going to have to do my angle on the other ones. All right, so advanced scap squeeze, you have two ways. One is to pull the band in half just like this. The other is to wrap them up going this way and you get your hands through here. This way, we see a lot of people kind of cheat because it really obviously has a lot less resistance. Then the other thing is they're like doing it through here with basically no resistance to even start with. So what you're looking at is like when your arms are out, fully extended, it should already be pretty tight. So the tight, obviously, how much strength is going to depend on what band you're using, but that should already be a tight band. So if you're in a spot where you can't do it with that, just grab something that's a little bit lighter. So from there, the whole idea is you're just squeezing your scaps together, which is like your wings in the back, squeeze them together, and back, squeeze together, and back. Hands stay out, arms stay on the entire time. Common thing we see wrong is right here, and all the triceps, right? Next. Uh, all cocoon crunches. Cool. Alternate cocoon crunches, we've obviously done those a lot in boot camp, and you're going to see a lot of the added exercise are very familiar. Just making sure you come to a reset every single time so your feet are all the way out and hands are all the way out. Can you do it when people do it wrong? Switching the, people will switch their actual knee as they're, they're like doing bicycle crunch. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. so, when you have a rhythm, guys, it's almost harder to do something wrong, so it is. But it's, People will like switch, they're like, oh, by, I don't know, it's weird, but you when you try and break it, they don't break it. So, yeah, just make sure you're going that way. Anybody's got low back pain, just make sure your feet plant every single time and don't actually cover them. So, foot will plant, foot will plant. The more back pain you have, the more you'll bend your knees and bring a little bit closer to your body to create more curvature, or less curvature. Those out, make sure your heels are broader than your shoulders. That's the key with that. Don't sumo squat here because that's all pressure on the knees. So just make sure your heels are out beyond your shoulders. T raises. T raises, cool. This is one of my favorites. Key with this is making sure you 
go the right way and not the wrong way. So with the T raise, you're going to go front raise straight up, bring the shoulder blades together, and right back down. Only going backwards. I see a lot more people go here and right back. Your front deltoid is the weakest of all of them, and you're trying to do that is a bad idea. Rear delts are a whole lot stronger, but they never get used. So pull back, really squeeze tight with those scapula, and then bring down slow. Yes. Yes. So this is one of them that you guys don't do as often in boot camp. It's obviously difficulty is a little bit harder to scale. So from this position here, her hands up, right by the ear, calling somebody, however you want to do it. But knee comes in, touching, and right back out. The balance, the core, the stability, everything is all played into this. Again, you want to keep your belly button sucked in tight, shallow, short breaths, but make sure you're breathing on every single rep. Band jumping jacks. Awesome. Band jumping jacks. Very simple, guys. Putting band on the ankles. Jumping jacks. Um, six bucks. Yeah. Six dollars in the office. I think we have like nine and like that right now. New ones, too. Not ones, actually. <laughs> Band swimmers. I'm just sweating. Band swimmers. Band swimmers. You can do my anchor. Anchor. I really will. Thanks. All right. When you buy the band kits, there's like a little loop and then it has a ball on the end of it. You actually shut your door on it and it'll stop so it actually creates like an anchor instead of having to have ash in there. You can have me. It's okay. All right. So right here. Hands straight out. Cue this is starting in the right position. Hips got to be here. A lot of times you have people start there and your back's already in a bad spot. What you want to think is you're trying to work the opposite of the chest. You're trying to work back here to create the damning hourglass. So the further out your chest is, the more activation you're going to get behind. <laughs> so you're going to stay up, chest up, and hands go back in it. This is okay, but this is just triceps to here. It's when you push back that last little bit and still keep your chest up, then you're actually going to feel the actual yourself and that whole sweep going on. If as you start getting tired, you start doing this, it's not doing anything. Look at Betsy making a fish. Betsy, is this is Betsy? That would be me. I was talking about it. All right, let's see. Deep up oblique crunch. So I haven't shown this on Ashley yet, so she's going to figure it out. Ooh. All right. So you yeah. have this. The speed are going to go straight up. Same thing that we talked about. This is something we don't do often in boot camp. I'm trying to incorporate it and see how we do. Her hands are going to go overhead. She's going to crunch up, but she's going to reach out to an empty space right here, reach out to an empty space here. You can put your feet up against the couch, a wall, or the advanced difficulty is, oh, yeah. Nice. I'm not a wall in the back and forth on the floor. We've got a hard surface. Awesome, that's badass right there. Badass. Squeeze, squeeze, everything's a twist or a side of squeeze. Pulsing lunges. Pulsing lunges. Going straight up, obviously you want to keep your knee back behind your toe. The whole sequence of lunges, guys, everybody always starts to activate the front leg. It's all about the back toe. If the back toe is up and the knee drives straight to the ground, everything's perfect. As soon as you start thinking about this leg, you put your hand on your knee, or anything that tries to make it easier, you're making it harder. Okay? The whole idea with this is going to come over here. When you're here, your body's in the center. You're basically pushing an elevator four, or uh, escalator four, or what is it called? Escalator. No, it's not. Yeah, the one that goes up and goes down. Like an electrician uses like a lift? Yeah. Scissor lift. Scissor lift. Scissor lift. Cool. Uh, Front heel, like back toe, elevator. and you push away from each other, and it pops you up. But when you're here and you put this, you're putting all 150, 200, whatever you weigh, on one knee, and basically on your shoulder at the same time. So you want to cut your body in half. If you got to use something to hold on to, you do. But you're just pushing a front foot forward, back foot back, and it's on to you. Okay? The advanced difficulty, on the curve. Next. Injury, just don't pronounce it. Band baseball. I won't. I really won't on this one. This is the one I really won't. Is this the one you're scared of? All right. Oh, great. You're scared? With these, I always like going thumbs out. And to me, it makes like a, a reference point, like making use like your chicken wing as a reference point. Go from here, take Q tips to the ears, and you're good to go. The whole idea is elbows lead away, come back, get those ears in there, and that's your good spot. All right? As far as injuries, if you have a shoulder injury, you probably have to stop somewhere throughout that range of motion and not pull away back. Reaching a weak crunch. Oh, cool. So this one's all the same exact thing, except her knees are going to be bent and floating. So she's going to be right there, go all the way back, hands overhead, reach up to an empty space going out that way, back overhead, reaching out to an empty space over here. The modifier is feet up on the couch and you won't walk away. Yeah. Next. Single leg hip bridges. Single leg hip bridges. Oh, you're down. All the way on the heel, you see instantly, as soon as we mentioned hip bridge, that toe goes up off the ground. Your butt's connected to your heels, your quads are connected to your toes. So you want to keep all that pressure right there. The more you keep this leg up, this is a lunge position just reversed, okay? 
If you start getting tired, your legs here, it's nothing. If you bend it, it's even less nothing. The more stretch you create with that top leg, the more you're going to feel the glute of that leg that's down. Side plank, knee ends. That's again. repeating again. Step back lunges. Cool. Step back lunges on those. Same thing, your advanced difficulty is going to be stepping up on the curb. Otherwise, single leg at a time, get all your reps on one leg would be the advanced way. The beginner way is alternate in between each one. If you have an injury, just don't go down as low. Advanced scap squeezes. Oh, we did that one? Yep. Fire hydrant. Fire hydrant, cool. So, advanced is going to be with a band. We're just going to start with this. Whole idea is make sure your tabletop is flat, everything stays right here, knees are tucked in. You don't want to be too far back in the push-up position, but you also don't want to be right up in here because that's not going to help. Whole idea with this, the fire hydrant next to you. I was going to say pee that way, please. <laughs> go that way, please. That's it. If you want to make it more difficult, the band will go around the knee or just below the knee. The more taper you have, if you already have a part of the hourglass knee, then you'll put it down below the knee and it won't pop up or roll on you. Great leg kickback. Cool. Uh -huh. uh. All right. So you have a wall straight up, kicking straight back. You want to make sure your front heel is as far forward over your nose as possible. The common thing I see wrong on this people going forward. But people going far forward and kicking back like that. As soon as you kick forward, that front leg is in stretch. So think about the same thing we just talked about on those actual um, hip ridges. You want to keep that front leg straight and keep that going. Nose never passes over those toes. Go on that one. Star drills. Perfect. Good. Star drills. So you have your dots over there. What you want to think about is we're going to go three spots. So it says three spots. Three spots equals one cut or one rep. So one, two, three, and that counts as one. Don't do that 20 times. So it's 60 total touches your first time. That's awesome. <laughs> And then you gotta do the other way. Are we done? Brick crossovers. Brick crossovers. Brick crossovers. Oh, demonstration. Brick. I love them. I love them. Brick. All right, so a lot of people do these wrong. Oh, it's freaking the fall. Yeah. Guys, that's a big thing. A lot of people think they're going to fall, but when we do them the right way, it almost makes it easier. Again, doing it wrong is almost harder. So stand all the way up if you can, just to start that way. If you start standing on it, you're in a good spot. If you start with a foot kind of on and off and you're starting wherever, yeah, you can risk falling. So here, one foot comes down, opposite hand touches, we'll get that. Come back up, and you switch that way. Can you do the common thing we see wrong? Nope. <laughs> there it is, almost. Is it it? You guys like touch, and like do like this whole hook to hook thing or whatever, and I don't know what happens, but your weight needs to be on there. Again, think of what you're trying to work. You're trying to work that booty meat. You're in that lunge position. You're crossing over and pushing off. It's the same as a single leg hip bridge. It's the same as the pulsing lunge. It's the same as a step back lunge. Your movement is almost the same if you're activating through the heel. We should only have two exercises left. One half and two. Who wants my end? I know, me too, no pants. <laughs> Put my white t-shirt on, you Is it a contest? Is it a contest? Who asked that? Yes. The better you give yourself a look, the happier you will be at the end. So guys, our transformation challenge, the next one, um, our eight year anniversary party, and we didn't announce this in the video, I think it's 831, August 31st, I believe. Uh, it will be awesome. We will have all sorts of Awesome stuff. Yeah. Uh, our transformation challenge is probably going to start with the after. We'll just see what's going on tonight. Get that all going. And with kids going back to school, probably going to be Yeah, probably. That's why we're all this stuff going on. Alright, so meal plan. If you eat like shit, your hourglass turns into like a... I can not I can 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 I so the whole idea with this is, if you found a meal plan, open the source of this, either that you'd like from any challenges, or any of the different, like flat belly, half attack, any of those, that's sold. Um, use that. If you need a meal plan, my favorite is still the one that's on the main page, the VIP page. Like if you just go to DerekRoom.com, click on the VIP button, it'll take you over. But let me send it directly if I can. But basically, I find one through all the plan. Eat well for five days, two days, you kind of mix in your car for the cheapest. So um, if you need that link, text me. That's it. DerekCurly.com forward slash Yeah, you guys can text you. But that would be the meal plan. 
you guys. Find something now that you can start transitioning into. I know it doesn't help to win a transformation challenge and you start losing now and you start looking better now and all that stuff, but like, it's sort of new. I mean, obviously you want to try and win things and it's important, whatever, but like, you guys are in a lifestyle program. You should be for the rest of your life. You can't do it for 30 days? Probably won't do it for 30 years. So, anybody else? Ashley, you want to talk? I think I have enough to I need to keep going. We're getting to the top. Uh, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank our regal friend. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you. Oh, can I go? Get your hand. Yeah, bye. I'm going to give away, if you guys want to stop by and see me, enter, I'm going to give away $50 credit towards a meal plan. And Ooh, I love it. And meal plan is like less than $50 and right at $50. So in order to get five free meals, you could potentially get <laughs> up. Um, you could potentially win at least five free meals.